Hold up. Hey, welcome back, guys. This video is the part one of online examination project. I've already uploaded the demonstration of this project. If you haven't watched that video, I'll recommend you to watch that first. So talking about this video in this tutorial, I'm going to create master page and home page using bootstrap. I'm going to show you how our home page and master page looks like. So this is how our home page looks uh, a navigation bar. Yes, navigation bar and slider banner on home page. So I'm going to close this and let's start with new project. I'm going to close this also. Okay. And Visual Studio 2019. Create new project. Uh, web application asp.net web application.net framework uh, say next give it a name as online online exam or anything say create empty The project got loaded you can see solution explorer right side click on right click uh, say add and new item and will be master page so go here and say ms master search master web form master page and give it a meaningful name say main master page say add uh, now this is how html looks uh, for master page and what we are going to do is, right now is we have to download bootstrap and font awesome file so select any of this and okay, bootstrap get bootstrap click here on download click on download again So this, so this bootstrap file got downloaded show in folder and extract here extract go inside this copy this both file copy and go inside our project add one folder give it a name as boot bootstrap and paste it inside this paste now go again to the chrome browser and fontawesome.com fontawesome.com and now where is this download Font awesome font awesome dot com slash download uh, free for web click on free for web uh, font awesome got downloaded show in folder 
and extract this yes okay go inside this folder and copy everything copy this and create another folder add folder give it a name as font awesome and paste it inside this first thing what you're going to do is you have to go to bootstrap css and then you have to bootstrap mind bootstrap min.css you have to copy and you have to paste it here or you can drag and drop again you have to you have to go inside js file bootstrap min.js and last thing you have to copy go to the cs file and drag and drop this okay and after this you have to go to bootstrap bootstrap here and documents inside documents there is a component tab in inside component you have to go to nav bar you can select various designs for your navigation bar so now i'm going to select this only first one copy this you know paste it paste it here inside form id paste it and once you have pasted what you have to do is you have to check the design how it looks for that you have to add another web form because you can't run a, you can't run master page you have to add another web form with master give it a name as home page say add select this and say okay once this home page dot aspx get created you have to run it so right now this is how your master page looks like you have to name every module now and we have to give it as a black background so let's cancel this and let's go to the master page and first thing first you have to give this as online examination and after that there is this home page right i'll go back to this browser home uh, bootstrap and for uh, like there are three colors for our master page there's a black blue and there is what is this light color or light blue color you can select any 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 color i'm selecting this black color i'm going to copy this and copy this and you have to paste it here and now if i'll run it again So you can see this how this is how it looks i'm going to close this and now go to the master page so let's delete everything uh delete you okay form control okay flex delete this so i'll let this home page be like this only uh home page and there is there should be a link button because this html tags does not run uh, does not run in asp.net uh, so i'm going to select link button and give it a name as home 
and copy this class copy this much and paste it here okay and give it give this as a name home page let's copy this now paste it here this will be student login student login and give id to every control a unique id to every control this will be admin login admin login and after this copy this paste it here this will be examination student examination and result student result id profile profile exam info student exam info copy paste and now admin part admin modules add student so give it as admin add student give a proper meaningful name i am giving what i usually give student add exam you can give it according to your convenience uh, admin add exam after this student info admin student info then there is results admin students results and last one is logout log out this will be logout main or main logout uh, here we have given active to everything just cancel this
delete this much so if you are copy pasting uh, do it carefully what we are going to do is now run this home page and let's see how it looks okay so this is how it looks this is this part examination result profile exam info our student part and add exam add student student info and results are admin part uh, we are going to explore and make tutorial on this modules but for now we are just uh, concentrating on uh, master page and home page so i'm going to close this now and one thing which we missed is we forgot to add icon for online examination here we have to add icon so what we can do right now is close this go to the go here font awesome font awesome and go to the font awesome website and search for university or university okay you can you will find multiple uh, you will find multiple icons i'm using i'll be using this icon so what you can do right now is just copy this copy this and you have to go here and you have to paste it here copy this and paste it here and save it and if you'll run this again you'll be able to see this uh, this looks good and now what we have to do is we have to we have to add carousel uh, so go here carousel and go here and copy this and paste it inside this okay so i have already have the slider images which i have used for my project i'm i'll provide you all the images i'll give the drive link of this image you can check in the description copy this uh, copy this and paste it here paste so there are three images which we are going to use and they are this this and this slider so copy this copy this and paste it here inside this image src close this same way you have to copy this you have to paste it here and just delete this copy this copy this and paste it here and delete this as well and now if we are going to run this home page it will look beautiful and good as you can see this this is how the home page looks now you can see the slider banner and there are every modules every different modules from student part as well from admin part so that is it i hope you enjoyed this video and if you really did please subscribe to my channel and i'll be back with part two of this project thank you